On this page, I want to talk to you about leading effectively. Yes, leading effectively. Think about it. You know, we have people that look up to us. And in the last videos, we've been talking to you about making teams work. Now, when you have a team, you have at, at the top of it, you have leaders. These leaders were once followers. And the things that they, they came developing along the way as followers are the things that get tested when they get into this position. So you don't become a leader when you get into a position. No, the leadership, the leadership position just gives you a responsibility to exercise everything that you've been developing along the way. So, in a nutshell, we are all leaders. Yes, we are all leaders. And when I speaking of effectiveness, effectiveness is so different from efficiency. Efficiency is, is doing things against time. How many units of uh, production can you do in an hour? How many cars can uh, Toyota produce in a day, a month? How many match boxes does uh, uh, Krishna put out in an hour? That's efficiency. Effectiveness on the other side is a different ballgame. Effectiveness is taking steps that lead you to the achievement of a vision or a goal. That is effectiveness. When it comes to leadership, our call is to lead effectively. Now, over time I've realized and I've learned that there are things that work and there are things that don't work. And you know, time is of the essence. Time is the only thing that you have that you cannot take back. So it's paramount that you get models that work. After being in business for over 10 years, you know, intelligent performance has been around for over 15 years. You know, we've worked with different clients and we found out that there are things that work and things that don't work. And in this video, I'm sharing the three things that will make you an ultimate person or an ultimate leader or an ultimate individual that is being developed for a leadership position. And one of the things that absolutely works is the story you tell yourself. Case in point, I remember I just got it into my first leadership position and I was, uh, I was working at Leather Industries Uganda and I was a sales and marketing manager. Now, when you're a sales and marketing manager, you know what you have? You have goals and you have pressure and yes, the MD or the CEO is looking at you. And you have to deliver now I was in this dilemma where I had people that had been in the company for so long and now I was leading them and it became extremely hard because I was young at leadership but all along I'd not understood the three things that make an ultimate leader and the three things that make a great company and the first thing is the story you tell yourself you know when you wake up what you tell yourself do you say you know what Ah, uh, it's yet another day and I have to go to work and I have to show up and I have to do this and I have and I have and I have and I have and I have. It becomes a duty. Now, that is different from saying, you know what, I wake up, I'm excited and I'm going to serve and I'm here to contribute and I'm here to grow and I'm here to make sure that the world is a better place and I'm going to use my work as a tool for that. That is very, very, very different language. Your language creates your story. And the stories you tell yourself determine how far you go or whether you back out on the way. So, what story are you telling yourself? Now, when, when you tell yourself a story, you better make sure that that story and the company that you are working for have an intersection because when you get that intersection magic happens when you get that intersection you get inspiration when you get that inter intersection you start seeing things work along the way what is your story and what is the story of the company that you tell that that, that you work with and how are you telling it because 
if you're going to be effective, if you're going to lead effectively, you need clarity of your story, but you also need to understand the you need to understand the clarity of the story of the company that you're working with. Sometimes we call it the vision. That is the power of the story. What is your story? And what are you telling yourself? And the second the second thing that I want to share with you that will make you more effective is the strategies. You need strategies. You know, having a story is not enough. You need, you need to say, okay, I want to be the best salesperson, or I want to be the best uh, husband, or I want to be the best wife. But what things are you going to do along the way? You need the strategies because if you just that if you had a strategy and you're not if, I mean if you had a, a story and you never had strategies, it would be like having a car and having no fuel in it and having no driver in it. It wouldn't go anywhere. So what are your strategies? What are you going to do? Because you need to take action. Most people have a great story, but they do not take action. And because they do not take action, they do not get anywhere in life. And that's why the grave ends up being the richest place, because you have songs that were never released. You have books that were never written. You have people that could have stood and inspired the world that never did it. You don't want to be that kind of person. Get a great story, get a strategy. And after you get a great strategy, that is not enough. There's the third thing that I want you to add on, and that is your state, your internal representation of who you are on the inside. Who you are, who, who is that person that, that gets up every day? Just take a moment and reflect and say, you know what, who am I exactly? And what do I represent? I suggest you a person that wants to grow and you a person that wants to contribute. That's why you're watching this video. That's a great start for you. And when you have that internal representation and you get into a great state, then magic happens. Then the other two work together, the story and the strategies. You all remember Tiger Woods. He's still around and he's you know, he's arguably the best golf player that has been that has been in the business. This gentleman had problems some time back and you know did he lose his strategies? No, he never lost his strategies. He still knows how to play golf. He's been playing golf from the age of six for heaven's sake. Did he lose his story? Absolutely no. The media still follows him up because he's the greatest ever to play the game of golf. So, what did he lose? He lost his state. His internal representation of who he is exactly. Not what people think. Not what your mother-in-law think, thinks. What do you think? What do you think of yourself? Who are you? Who are you on the inside? And can that internal representation be seen on the outside? Because guess what? We'll see it. If you're fidgety, something is not right with your, with your internal representation, which we also call state. Now, you can take these principles that, I, uh, that I, I just talked about. You know, the story, the state, the strategy, the same principles work for a great company and the same principles will make you a better person the same principles will make you lead effectively so take them study them more you know we'll be sharing more videos about this subject but we are excited and i know this will work for you so stay in state have a great story and get some good strategies to help you get through and win and excel and continue to be awesome.